welcome back savages to another video in this video i'm going to do a follow-up to a previous video on the unboxing that i did of the three node titan 2.1 so in this video i'm going to show you how to actually set up the uh, titan 2.1 the first issue i've come across is there is a problem with the actual device itself out of the box so when you buy this it's actually promoted as a ready to go plug and play device you just plug it into your network and away you go but there seems to be a problem with a number of devices that were shipped out from Belgium earlier this week. So this is the area you're going to see when you boot the device up. So I've got a keyboard and monitor connected up to the three node, but this is a problem you get when you boot it up. You get a message that says initializing network initialization failed rebooting in 10 seconds. So basically it's not connecting to the network and then it just reboots. So you can't actually get any further than this. So I tried a number of things. One of the things I tried was to try and get into the BIOS of the uh, three node, but as you can see, it comes up and says, enter password. You will not get that password from three node because they say it's protected property and you won't be able to get into the uh, three node. So that's a bit of an issue. So aside from trying that, there is absolutely nothing you can do. So basically the unit is pretty much dud at this point. So the next thing I did was I went on the um, the various support channels that 3Node have. One of them was Telegram. Uh, spoke to some of the uh, the moderators on there and they suggested putting in a ticket with 3Node, which is what I did. They also confirmed that this was definitely a confirmed issue with a number of 3Node um, Titans that had been sent out recently uh, and they were looking into it. Put a ticket on there. I believe they're going to be offering some kind of compensation for those that lodge tickets. So if you've got this issue, make sure that you lodge a ticket with them. I don't know exactly what the amount is going to be, but I think that's to be confirmed from what I was told. So after putting the uh, ticket in, I still didn't receive any kind of a response. So I went back on Telegram and I spoke to somebody called Scott and he was really helpful. He looked into the case and he's actually sent me some instructions on how to fix this issue. So I'm going to go through this with you and I hope it helps somebody else out. Just before we do this, just a quick word of warning about using Telegram. There's a lot of scammers on there. There's a lot of impersonators on there. Never respond to a direct message from anyone that contacts you. You should be the one doing the contact and via direct message to the person that you want to send the message to. So just bear that in mind and don't give any personal details away. If it is a genuine moderator, they'll look into your case and provide you the correct instructions and the links on how to fix this issue. So with that said, let's crack on. So step number one. So despite what I said earlier on about 3Node being very reluctant to give out BIOS passwords, to fix this issue, you're definitely going to need a BIOS password. So when you get um, a response back from support, the first thing they're going to send you is a password for this BIOS. And that will be based on your farmer's name, as well as the type of keyboard and region that you have as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that password now. And there we go, we're in. Bear in mind when you're putting the password in, you need to hold the shift key for all the letters and the numbers when you're entering it. So when you get to this screen, press the uh, tab button. So you get from the boot selection to enter setup and press enter. And then that'll take you into the BIOS so you can change the settings. From here, you want to press F6. And then at the moment it's selected on main, so you want to tab across until you get to boot, which is just there on the right, about there. So once you're in this screen, you need to just press the down button until you get all the way down to this CMS compatibility support module bit. Okay, so hit enter on that. Then go down to launch Pixie Opron policy, hit enter on that, change that to UEFI only. Once you've hit UEFI only, hit the right arrow key and then do save changes and exit. And click yes. Moment of truth. Let's see if this works. So there we are, that's rebooted. Looks like it's synchronising the time. It's got its IP address and everything as well. Downloading some kind of zero OS image. Well, that's flying up the screen. Looking promising. Oh, 
Looks like it's mounting some drives or something by the looks of it. One more reboot. Welcome to Zero OS. Autonomous operating system. It's got me node address and the farmer right next to it. Looks like it's running it. And I think we're good to go. So there we go. Uh, I've left it a few minutes and we've started to get some IP addresses in the uh, network window for the ZOS, DMZ and the YGG uh, entries. There won't be one for pub. Uh, and it's not really needed. Uh, it's more the fact that if you have your um, particular node behind a firewall, you might not get it, but it's not really needed from what I'm told. So now the three node Titan is fully operational and farming. Uh, let's have a quick look at the power consumption. So on the meter, we're getting 21.3 watts, which is incredible. In terms of amps, 0.169. One final check you can do just to make sure that your farmer is fully online is to go to this address, which is explorer.34.io and just search for your farmer just down here using the um, search box. Just, just there. And then what it should do is return the uh, ID of your farmer with the details next to it and in the status you should see a nice green up button. And that's a confirmation that everything's working and you're good to go. There you go, that's all you need to do. It's now plug and play and it's good to go and just look forward to the rewards that you'll get on a monthly basis. Anyway, I hope this video helps somebody out. I'll leave a link in the description to how to actually fix this issue once you've got your BIOS password. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.